It's been a while, but I'm back, and of all things, playing Resident Evil Reverse, something that even I wasn't too thrilled about, especially after it was delayed over a year and a half when it's supposed to release alongside Resident Evil Village, but somehow it's finally come out, and I gotta say, I've actually been enjoying it. I've actually been having fun. I know shocking in a multiplayer competitive game, because that's on short supply nowadays, but what is it about this game that... I don't know that apparently I'm one of the few that actually enjoy it while everyone's kind of written it off or say it's garbage or the worst thing ever. Because you know, in life itself, you gotta ha it can't ever be like just something that's like all right. It's gotta be either the worst thing ever or the greatest thing ever because there's no middle ground. But I mean, there's a lot of middle ground here. There's a lot of things I like, some things I wish they improve upon. But let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. What what do I like about it? what's what's it doing that something that makes me want to play these multiplayer competitive games. I'll be honest, I don't remember the last multiplayer competitive game just that I played in terms of, like I guess, like a, a shooter. I know you have some melee aspects here, but, you know, you shoot people that that I'm playing that it makes me enjoy this. Because the last one I, I think I enjoyed was maybe Titanfall 2. Like, yeah, it's been that long ago, so... But nowadays, with just... I don't know, it's just not any fun anymore. It's just, everything's just a, a sweat stress fest, but... And not to say this game doesn't have its moments, because trust me, when I first started, I was trying to learn stuff, but that's the thing, you learn stuff. You play over time, and you, you pick up things, and that's the part of the learning process, so... I think the biggest thing I really love about this game, that I don't think it's enough credit for, is the whole scoring system. I like the fact that how it works is you get a kill you get points if you kill people in the top three you get even more points if you're on a streak you get even more points depending on how big your streak is um if you die whoever killed you has a skull over the head um as you see in the right middle part of the screen that means that if you kill that person when you're the infected creature because you transfer and you come as an infected creature if you kill the person who kills you your streak can continue and I like that concept. You also have to keep that concept in mind when you're the person who just killed somebody because obviously they're going to be trying to go in for you. So I, I just like that concept. You're never, now that someone's having a game of games, you're never out of a game. As I've had a few videos on this own channel to showcase that, if you are not having a good game, you can't get frustrated and give up because all you need is that one street to get you back in the game. There's a lot of games I'm, I'm like dead to rights playing terrible. Um, and by the way, I don't know how this dude danced around all those things. I actually had to kill him. You know, I know the thing exploded, but only after he exploded. But he danced around both of those things. I'm impressed. Um, Pillar Joe Boy definitely got some uh, a lot more agility than my than my boy State Puff. But anyway, um, I. I thought my track mind trying to remember what I was about to say, but but basically I, I like the fact that like you're never out of a game. If you go on a streak, especially at the end of a game, I've won games where I'm like down by almost 150 points, like a minute left to go, and somehow, some way, I come back and win, even by a massive margin, because you know you just come on a streak and bam, it's like, look when you're on a guy like streak you're like 40 points and stuff, and more points if you're killing people in top three positions, but I like that, you know, I, I just like the whole concept, and I like the revenge concept, where your streak is never over until, like, you know, you don't continue it by killing the guy in revenge for your second life, but, um, I like the characters, obviously the famous Resident Evil characters, they all have their abilities and stuff, I do think they should change up Chris, because just being invincible for a few, that's just stupid, I, I, just take it away, like, put, give him something else, but that's just dumb, there's no skill in that. I know some people complain about Ada, but Ada, you have to have skill to use. You know, I have no problem with a dominant Ada player. You know, hey, you gotta tip your hat off to him and stuff. Um, my personal favorite is Jill. I just like controlling an area with the mines, just so you're not getting blindsided by 50 different directions. And by the way, I'm shocked that I actually got that tyrant thing because if you ever figure out, I hate the tyrant uh, playing him so much. Not that he's bad, but it's just like I'm this big, like, tub of mass it's just getting shot from all directions and every time i do that tyrant claw it always misses so i was shocked to see that happen but and then you get this thing where you just get i was already dead to rights anyway with low health but it's like you can get stunned and beat up by a small thing and it don't even matter but anyway um i have a fun moment here 
my current record for streak is 11 before this game. I'm on 11 and I got the RBG. I'm trying to find somebody. And it's funny because I hear someone in there, but I can't quite see. I'm trying not to be overzealous, but time is running out. So I definitely don't have a choice here, but I try to, I'm trying to hit the Ada. I'm trying to hit the ground at least, or at least knock her over in case they don't kill her. And I barely miss, but I get the Leon and then get her there for a two for one deal and definitely get my record for highest streak 13 and my most points i think i've ever scored in a game just under 500 and uh, my um, top three favorite resident Evil characters not in that order um but nonetheless um yeah i said just recently got over to 2000 um point there but um but yeah i'm really liking this game but there are things that I feel like is they got an update coming next week, and I know they're added new characters, a map, and whatnot. But I feel like there are some things I hope this game adds just to make sure it lasts longer, get more people attracted to it. Number one, and this one I think is easy, is add a horde mode. I don't know why we've been in Resident Evil this long and we've never had a horde mode. Like, come on now, and we technically had a horde mode. In other Resident Evil games, like, you know, Resident Evil 4, where you're trying to defend, um, when the Ganados are all invading the house, or Resident Evil, um, 3, when Carlos is trying to defend the, the hospital and whatnot. Like, we technically already had a horde mode. Like, have it with other people and your friends. And speaking of friends, can we please have it where we can play against our friends in matches? Not just private matches, actually public matches. It's just, I don't see what the big deal is. Just ask for your friends. And also... Can you help my boy, um, Bloom Bloom Steve up? My, my good friend Steve, he cannot. Now, granted, to be fair, he sometimes has his problems with technology and stuff. But judging by how he explained to me, he has everything linked up and he still cannot play this game. And <laughs> he's getting so frustrated, man. So please, someone help poor Bloom Bloom. Because I would love to just um, do what any good friend should do is just, you know, beat his ass in a game as soon as he gets on. Just actually frustrate, humiliate him. But. Um, but I, but it's all in love. It's all in love. I'm, I'm joking. But um, another mode, team deathmatch. You know, have a team deathmatch. You know, four v four, three v three. I don't really care. Have it humans against humans. Maybe if you go on streaks, you can get transformed into the monsters. Maybe only humans, humans. Period, or whatnot. But you know, some modes to add to the game because as I said, I just like it. I don't know. It just it just works. You know. I just really had fun, and as I said, it's hard to come with fun with multiplayer shooter competitive games nowadays because it's always a stress test with them. It's like you can't ever have fun without, you know, just absolutely going crazy. You you always got to be amped up all the time to have a chance. If you're not, you're just gonna get curb stomped or whatnot. And um, you know, hopefully. We can have more of them that are just more casual, relaxed. Because I said, we're all just scrubs in the end. We're all just normal players, not these professional players. But everything's got to cater to professionals now. So just simple things. Just having fun. That's the most important thing, having fun. And even though I know some people have written this game off personally, I'm having fun. That's the most important thing. I don't have a lot of time in my free time. So if I'm having fun, that's the most important thing that matters. And I'm having a blast with this. And if it's only just this one game in with two maps, I'm having this much fun with it. It's sad that with an entire game with so much more content, I just have absolutely no fun and I'm miserable with other full price things or whatnot. But um, I like more people to give this a chance, and hopefully they do. And I, hopefully I can upload more videos of me playing this with the new content that comes out next week. It's just obviously with you know, my own life and actually working and whatnot, it's just hard to find a time to do this because I'd rather with the free time just be playing it. But these aren't too hard to upload and hopefully I can get more of it in the future and hopefully I can find some more things to show off but and before I leave this I will say this one thing it's a it's definitely fun to be a survival horror fan right now you got so many great things coming out um, you know Callisto Protocol coming out you got Dead Space remake got Resident Evil 4 remake you got um, Silent Hill 2 remake um, I really like getting Silent Hill because I'm I've seen things of it. I've never played one before is my biggest thing, and it's a regret. Maybe one day I'll go down and play the originals and have fun with that, but um, I'm definitely looking forward to that. But definitely everyone's happy in the survival argument. Well, 
Wait, who, who am I kidding? These people are always bitching complaining to survival horror community. I'm part of the Resident Evil community. Every, there's like 20 subgroups of everyone complaining how everything sucks and if it doesn't print in a specific like thing, everyone's crying about it or whatnot. So, who am I kidding? You can give them the million dollars, um, superpowers and everything else and they still want to bitch about it. But, nonetheless, that's, that's my opinion of Resident Evil Reverse and going forward and hopefully I can have some more content with this it's just it's just hard to play with my limited time but i do enjoy playing this game so maybe i'll be able to put up a little more but hopefully i'll see you guys back on the next one thanks for watching have a good night